Hey everyone! Yay, I made it. I'm sorry. <laughs> that took a little bit of time. I got to the office and then my computer had to restart. But I'm excited to connect with you guys. All right. I am going to call and go ahead and get started because I know several of you are at work and I want to make sure that we get um, get things moving. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, Kate, how are you? Are you at work? <laughs> um, I just came home from my lunch break really quick. All right, perfect, <laughs> perfect, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna talk all things party today. Uh, the goal for this call is to answer all and any of your questions regarding parties, but then also how to book your calendar. Because at the end of the day, the goal of this business is to generate leads. You always want to have new people coming into your business, Plan, you know, generating leads, you're following up with those leads, and you're closing the deal. So if you ever have a time where you're thinking, I don't know what to do, you know, or I want to work my business, but I don't even know how, or I don't even really know what to do, your job is to generate leads, period. Like that's what you want to do. Because if you don't have leads to follow up with, then you're stuck. You don't feel like you've got anything that you can do for your business. So generating leads is where most of your time is being spent. Just seed planting, seed planting, seed planting. So then you can follow up and then you can harvest. So having parties is one amazing way to get in front of more than one person at a time. I would recommend if you have not yet, have your own party because you want to be the hostess, you want to invite people over, you want to have control over the environment, you want to know where the scissors are, you know where the water is, you want to have control over that stuff. So if you have not yet had your own personal party, please get it on the calendar. And one thing I am really good at is getting something on the calendar and then figuring it out later. So do that for yourself. Like put a date in August um, on the calendar and then figure out the details but get it on the calendar. What I do is I would first create, um, get the date, create a list of people that you want to invite, and then personally connect with them. I wouldn't say if you want three people to come to your party, you want to expect to invite 30. You know, it's true. And, and half the time, it's not even about the event itself. You know, you could have one to two people show up. Cool, no big deal. It's about all the seed planting that happened along the way. You know, even if I have three people that come to my party on Thursday, I've invited over 30. Now they know that I am, um, that I'm active, I'm moving, I'm the rap girl in the area. You know, they know to come to me. I can schedule one-on-one -on -one appointments with them or even ask if they want to try a free wrap and they can be a hostess for the next party. So invite them all personally. I personally messaged and texted and asked like at Owen school, I, I messaged them, but then I also said, hey, I'm having a party on Thursday. Because what you don't want to do is for everybody to think that everyone else is gonna show up. Or, you know, that you don't really mean them. You know what I mean? Like, hey, come to my party. Nobody thinks that it's for them, so they won't come. So you've really gotta be personal in your asking. Once they've said yes to coming to the party, then I added them to the Facebook event that has information on you know, the wrap and my address and all that kind of stuff. Weeks leading up to the party, I'll show you my Facebook event for the one I'm doing on Thursday. Um, oh, that's not what I want, I want this one. I'll show you, I am trying to drip. So once they said yes, I'm adding them to this party. For some reason, I was in Chicago when it, when I did it, because I was at a work day with the Chicago team, and so it's in Central Time. Very silly. Um, but it should say 6.30 for my friends, I'm not sure. Um, and I've been posting before and after pictures. So consistently, well twice, I'm gonna do it again today. <laughs> I'm gonna do a hair, skin, and nails one today. I wanna post consistently in here, because I want people to, um, 
to pop up. You know, I want to pop up. I want to be in their memory. And again, I've got three people that said for sure they're coming and three maybes. And I'm connecting with them again to make sure that at least a handful of people are able to get to the party. Now, once you're there, you can do some cool stuff with this. You can say, hey, $5 off for every friend that you bring. You can um, say, you know, add your friends to this event and I'll give you a free sample of greens. You can use this event as a way to network and branch out. Because sometimes, again, it's not about who you know, it's about who you meet. And so you can use that invitation as a way to say, hey, if you in, um, invite three of your friends, add them to this event, and see if they can come with you, I'll give you something. And then you can personally friend those people. So you can see how you can bridge the relationship by adding more people to the event because of the people that you're meeting. So once you're at the party, what does it look like? Um, we wanna keep it super simple. One bag in, one bag out. Uh, you can have a one table with some products you know, to sa sample or demo. Um, the products I would recommend sampling are of course the wraps. Charge $25 to try it, so you're making wrap cash. Facials, $25 to try it, so you're making wrap cash. You can do chins for $10, so you can cut the, the wrap into six pieces and do some chins. Um, you just put saran wrap or fab wrap over their head to hold it in place. Um, I often just demo the tummy. So if someone says, can you wrap my arms? Can you wrap my legs? I usually say, you can totally do that at home. Today, I'd love to demo your tummy because it gives really good before and after pictures. And honestly, it can just take a long time to wrap somebody's arms and I don't want to spend the time to do it. If there's just a handful of people. It's not that big of a deal, but I try to say, totally do that at home. Your next one, you'll do that. Um, you want to have, let me see, where is a dried out applicator. I just did a party here the other day. A dried out applicator so then you can show people what it looks like. And you can say, this is what it is, this is what it does. Is it in my bag? I just had it. It's funny. Um, and the, so the dried out applicator is really nice, especially when people are coming in and they don't really know what it is. So, there's a couple stations for your party. First, I would have the welcome station with a sign-in sheet, a money jar, and your host. Your hostess, if it's you, then you can put someone else in charge of the money station. They pay right when they sign in. So they sign in and they, you say, hey, are you, which body part, or you know, you wanna try a wrap or a facial today? Um, they don't have to by any means, but it's, if they do want to, they wanna do it immediately. And then, go back into the wrap room where they get the wrap on and they are you know in the wrap room you're asking them questions um you're saying what is your goal have you heard of us before have you ever been to a party what do you what do you do now you know the wrap room is really all about building the rapport building the relationship so you want to use that personal one-on-one -on -one time to get to know them you do want to be a bit fast in the wrap room so you don't wanna get their whole life story and you don't wanna do a presentation like eight times in a row. So if they've got questions, just say, oh, we're gonna go over that in just a minute. Like, I'll tell you all about it in just a minute. Um, but, but be fun, fun, friendly, have them download the wrap app on your phone, take before pictures. Again, they're gonna be as nervous as you are, right? So if you're light and fun, they'll be light and fun. So I usually say, no sucking in, that's cheating. Uh, relax your shoulders, you know, put your shirt up to your bra line and lower your pants to your hips. No big deal. I see bellies all the time, you know, stuff like that. And I take a before picture facing them and then sideways. And then you go out to the presentation room. So you've got your welcome station, your wrapping station, and then the presentation area. And this is when you are gonna go through your party pad presentation. Now you got all of these, got, you got this in your kit. It's probably a little bit different. I'm sure I have a three-year-old version, but um, the party pad is very similar and it helps with, with guiding the presentation. I also give them a product flyer with a loyal customer form and a distributor form. 
Now, they don't need this necessarily. This is just for me to kind of go through some things. The only page that I think is really helpful for them is this last one. So you could, um, you know, just have this laying around, uh, you know, make copies of this. You can frame it. Um, you can pass it around during this time if you don't have one, enough for everyone. Another thing that I'll do on the customer sheet is I'll highlight all of the products we're specifically talking about. Um, for example, the Fat Fighter is listed as Advanced Formula Fat Fighter, so nobody ever can find it. So if you want to highlight the ones that you're talking about, then that can be helpful during the closing time. So with this Party Pad presentation, I usually sit on the floor, I'm relaxed, you know, again, we're just hanging out. I'm not uber professional. I don't have all the answers. I am just a girl who got excited about a product. Uh, and, and I use this time to tell my story. So but even before you get started, you want to say something like, hey, before we get started, I'm going to share with you what brought me to It Works and share a bit of your story. Um, and then you can say something like, but let's talk why you're here is this crazy rap. You know, then you can move on to the rap. Some of you have an awesome rap story. Some of you have an awesome business story or both. Share a bit of your story. Part of what we do is, um, you know, you're going to want to figure out your highlights. Like, what's your highlight reel? Why did you get started with It Works? What is your goal? People will connect to the goal. So I got started because I knew that I didn't want to be at a nine to five for the next 50 years. Or I wanted to have a family at some point and I wanted to have options. Or I want to pay off student loans because they told me it was the best debt to have, yet it's gonna take me 50 years to pay it off, you know? What is your why? What is the goal? And, and share that with your story because people will connect with you and they're gonna be excited to help you on your journey when they feel like you're friends and you know, you've got a good story. <laughs> Um, so share your why at this point. All right. Um, and then also think of, you know, if you have experienced success with It Works, what It Works has also allowed you to do. So are, have you been able to pay off debt? Have you been able to make new friends? Have you been able to have an outlet for goal setting? You know, I think sometimes the corporate world can be suffocating to achievers because, you know, you're like, well, there's nothing, it doesn't matter what I do. I'm never going to, not going to get a raise or there's no next step to climb. And once you've hit that glass ceiling, it's really easy to just go. Eh. So what, what is it works done for you? Are you dreaming again? Um, do you have options? Is it wrap cash? Is it gas money? What is it? Friendship, fun, freedom. What is it that it works has allowed you to do and share that as a part of your story too. And then you go into the products. So first the wrap, what it, this is what it is. This is what it does. And I'm not going to give you my whole presentation because every single opportunity call we do is the presentation. <laughs> so you, if you want to hear a presentation, you can listen to one of the million opportunity calls and Zoom we do consistently. Um, but this is what it is. This is what it does. You can have before and after pictures and a booklet. I'm actually going to create a new one for my party on Thursday where I, I might even just upload them to Staples and create a, like get pictures or have them put it in a little binder for me. Um, I'm trying to work smarter, not harder, so I'm gonna outsource that job. But you can do get before and after pictures from the It Works website, um, Facebook like album, uh, and then also the ingredient list. Those are some things that you can have out so people can thumb through them if they've got questions. And then this is where you wanna talk about your favorite products. So I would mention the skincare, I would do the, um, defining gel demo and then I would talk about your favorites so you could pick a package you know the it pack or the system and just go through all the products in the system I like this um, back here this is again an old flyer but I would do the skinny pack introduce the defining gel and the fat fighter do the fat fighter demo and the fat fighter demo is where you've got water with a little bit of vegetable oil and you crush up the fat fighter and if you go to YouTube, you'll find all of this stuff. And then you can do the system package and talk about the other products. Again, you don't need to be an expert. You just need to know something about, I would say, like five things. Wraps, defining gel, fat fighter, greens, and your favorite. You know, your favorite could be hair, skin, and nails. 
Your favorite could be wow. Your favorite could be um, the cleanse, you know, the new system, the thermal fit you can talk about those things and introduce the customer program. So for those of you that are interested in getting healthier, we've got a way for you to do that at wholesale cost. When you choose to choose a product and use it for 90 days, I can give it to you at my cost. An amazing, amazing program. Upsell the loyal customer program. And then the next side, so some people may say, ah, that's easy for me. I can go through the products, but how do I introduce the business? Um, this may be a little bit more nerve wracking. And this is typically what I do. I'll say something like, I know some of you have been asking me about the business and I wanna share with you how the business has changed my life too. So I usually say something like that um, because I know that then they're gonna look around and go, oh, people here are interested in signing up this business. Let's talk about how you make some money. And again, I just go through the party pad. Super, super simple. I do talk about the auto ship um, at some point. I'll say it's two boxes of wraps to stay commission qualified, and that's wraps you can use yourself. Talk about four little customers, three, five distributors, three, three distributors, and teach them to duplicate, and you will earn the $500 cash bonus. And then this is where I would say my success. So at the beginning, you're kind of talking about your wow or your why, your story, what brought you here. Here is where you're talking about how you're able to dream again, um, the success that you've experienced. You can pass this around. And for me, I would say, you know, I never would have expected to have success in something like this. I never would have thought this was something I would want to do. I came from a nine to five family, uh, career oriented family, and I didn't even know that being an entrepreneur was an option. But this was a way that I could make extra money on my time and it's and there's no glass ceiling and you can share the benefits that you've experienced so far. We all have a choice, right? This helps you to close. Do you want to try the product and get so you know get your sexy back, have some more energy, or do you want to try the product and make money at the same time while you're sharing your testimony? Sign up as a distributor. So after that, you want to, you know, they've all got their pens, they've got their packet of information. You want to unwrap everyone. And we often say that the close happens in the wrap room. So if you've wrapped people at your party, you can bring the loyal customer form into the wrap room and have them say, all right, well, what product stood out to you? What product stood out to you? What are you excited about? What are your goals? And then I circle the ones on their sheet that they mentioned. Now, they can do one a month. They can do all three um, each month. You know, they can do a package. They've got a ton of flexibility. So one thing you can ask is, what's your budget? What's your budget? Because that will help you know what, where to, how to help them. An example is we did a party here last week, and I assumed she wanted three products that she would get one a month. Isn't that a bad assumption? And I said, all right, so you can get this this month and then this this month. And she goes, no, I, all, I want them all now. And I was like, oh, okay, good idea. <laughs> so, and, and so I think we have to just be bold and say, all right, well, what about, do you want all three of them right now? And if she says no, then you can go back. But remember, you're the expert. I love in the call last night, they said, don't ask, tell. If you're getting the wraps, you're going to want the defining gel. They go hand in hand. If you're getting the greens, you're going to want... To, uh, to get the, the system, if your goal is weight loss. If you are getting, if you are, you know, if you're getting the facials, do the wow. You know, whatever it is, you wanna be bold and, and decisive. If you're wishy-washy, they'll feel that too. So even if you're nervous, decide to be decisive and, and declare what they should get. They can always say no, it's their prerogative, no big deal. Um, but you wanna just be loud about that. And so again, I have them just fill out the top, and, and, and close the deal. So what I'll do, depending on how big the party is, is I will sit next to each person one at a time and say, all right, what, is your, what are you thinking? You know, in the wrap room, I've circled things. I may say, all right, go fill out the top part and I'll be right with you. And then I go around with my trusty calculator and I add it all up and, and I have collect the sheets. Um, we've done a few things where you have maybe a closing station where I'll say, all right, I'm, 
I'm going to check you out right here. Dawn, come sit next to me. <laughs> and we check you out. And that can be helpful, depending on how big the party is. Um, sometimes they're just mingling and talking, and you need to go up to them and say, hey, so what is your, what's, your, you know, what's your choice? What are you thinking? Um, product or money? And you want to um, really just ask. Because you don't, what you don't want to do is let them slip away. I can tell you there's been parties where I would have bought something had they said, hey, do you want anything? Uh, we've got essential oils now. Essential oils are the cheapest way to become a customer. They can just get one oil. I mean, there's just a lot of products that they can get um, under $30 that, and they can get the package if they really want the weight loss stuff. So just be excited and focused. Um, we do have the essential oils burning in the background. You can talk about those. Um, you know, just play on to, you know, I've, if you've got fitness people coming, maybe have some ProFit samples depending on who you've got, but I would really not talk more than about five to maybe you know six or seven products because you don't want them to get lost. Games you can play at your parties. You can take a pic you know, before everybody gets started, say something like, all right, everyone get out your phones, tag me in a post, because again, because of the event, the goal is you're friends with them all. And even if it's a random hostess, they're adding their people to the party and you're friending them. So you can say, tag me in, an, in a post that says, I'm getting my sexy back. Or I'm trying a rap right now, stay tuned, or something like that. And the person with the most likes and comments at the end of the party wins a free green sample or a free wrap or whatever you happen to have, right? You can do, um, sometimes I know people will collect all the loyal customer forms and draw a name and that person will get their 25 bucks back from the wrap they just tried. So you could earn a free wrap today when you sign up as a customer and we'll give you the $25 back. Let's see. Um, there's a lot of cool games that, that you can play. If you search home party games and things like that, you can do a few things. I tend to not do a ton of stuff because I want to keep it simple uh, and I want it to not last very long, but it, you can make it really fun. The other thing you can do is say, if you book a party, you get a free wrap. So um, those who book a party with me tonight will get a free wrap at their next party. Uh, I know some people who will say, those who book a party with me tonight will get a free wrap at their next party and the hostess will get a free wrap too. So the current hostess will get a free wrap at that next party. So the hostess is going around saying, hey, do you want to book a party? Do you want to book a party? Do you want to book a party? Um, so you're giving away two free wraps, but you get that party booked and it's kind of the, the hostess is helping you um, close the deal. Um, I know people that will have a calendar printed off and they'll say, you know, you get greens if you book a party on this day and you'll get a wow if you book a party on this day and you'll get, and it, you know, within the next two weeks, book a party and this is the free thing you'll get as a hostess gift. So you can be creative in how you book that next party, but the goal is that it continues, that it's not, you know, that you're, that, that you're branching out into new networks. Does anybody have any other tips or questions about doing a live party? And then we'll move into booking your calendar and then even um, Facebook virtual parties. Shannon, I know you do a lot of stuff too. Do you guys, does anybody have any tips or any ideas? Dorothy, Dawn? All right, well, let me know if you've got any questions. You can unmute at any time. All right, so booking your calendar. Here's the deal, booking your calendar. You wanna overbook your calendar. Uh, because things will fall through, things will cancel. So just know that in advance. I one time had nine parties scheduled and six happened, right? What if I didn't book the others because I was a, you know, too busy or afraid of that it would over schedule myself, right? Over schedule your calendar. And the biggest thing with booking parties is just to say, hey, I'm launching into a new area. Um, I'm just launching my business or I'm trying to move my business into you know, a new area. Um, I'd love to get into the schools. I'd love to get into whatever they would do, right? Um, could you consider hosting a party for me and I'll give you a free wrap? Just an hour and a half, no big deal. Ask them to become, um, to, to host a party. 
and then you want to guide them in hostess coaching. Those that like and comment on my posts, I'll often book a, a one-on-one appointment with them first. And I'll say, hey, you want to try a wrap? Have you, you know, let's meet tomorrow for coffee. I want to make it easy and simple. If you're feeling like people aren't booking parties with you because they're you know, afraid of it being too overwhelming, um, call it a wrap appointment and then they can invite some friends. Meet them, meet them for the wrap appointment. Once they see how easy it is, then maybe they'll be more willing to invite their friends over. So you can be creative with that too. Your goal is to get the wrap on as many people as you can. And especially if you're going for diamond, you are going to be saying no to good things. You can say yes to great things. You may be working from eight to midnight, three to five nights a week, following up with people, planting seeds, you know, connecting and building your network on social media. You may have four parties a week. When I was going ambassador, I had five to seven parties a week because I was launching every new distributor that signed up on my team within driving distance because I wanted to build the relationship with them and I wanted to, um, and I wanted to like get to know them and build that confidence. So decide when you're open for business, decide when you want to be booked. Do you want a one-on-one appointment? Do you want parties? I know a girl who booked 20 one-on-one appointments in her first month because she, that was a bit more realistic for her than having parties. So, so what do you want to do? Decide your calendar, highlight when you want to be booked, and then your goal is to fill it. If you want four parties a week, your goal is to fill it. If you want four parties a month, your goal is to fill it. If you, uh, and sometimes you may be the host and just invite people over and go from there. But remember, all the people that don't come to your party are just as important as the people that do. Melody McFarlane is an ambassador diamond with It Works, and she did not go to the party she was invited to. She didn't go. Her friend called and said, oh my gosh, it worked, and she called the hostess, or the the distributor that did the party. She didn't even go to the party. So think about the people that are saying, no, I can't go. Follow up with them as well and say, no worries. If you ever want to try a wrap, um, I would love to wrap you. Or let's meet for coffee and I'll tell you a bit more about it. Or you're going to love the greens. It's totally up your alley. Let me tell you more. Um, But follow up with those people too. So that party list that you have when everybody signed in or on the event is a follow-up list for you. Add all those people to your hundreds list. And when we do power hours and things, those are some people that you're following up with. Questions or ideas that we want to share? I have a question. Sure. How are you becoming their friends, all the people that have been invited to the party on Facebook? Well, I have a friend I'm on Facebook first. And they, in order to tag me, they have to be my friend. So I tell them they have to accept me. <laughs> they haven't yet or something. But I just, I would friend them all. And then I would put them on my hot prospects list and like and comment and build the rapport. Now, you don't have to warm them up forever, you know? Like and comment, like and comment, and then you can message them directly and say, you know, hey, you know, it's great seeing you at the party. Would you mind having a party for me? You know, I'm looking to, ex- you just want to be direct with the approach or with your question. And, um, you know, would you mind, ha- you know, spreading the love and having a party for me? Or I'm really looking to get into wherever they work. Would you mind, you know, that kind of thing. I do. I mean, social media has changed the name of this business. Um, but, we do not want to forget about doing parties. Parties are an easy way to get in front of your warm market and to get excited. I can tell you if I'm having a bad day and I've got a party scheduled, I'll even sometimes be like, oh my God, I'm so tired. Da, 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 da. And then you get there and their energy is contagious. So you leave a party like on fire and excited. And, and, and if you haven't experienced that, you need to book some parties because they're a lot of fun. 
You can do team parties in your area. We're trying to do team parties here in Grand Rapids consistently where everybody just makes it a goal to bring one to three guests. You know, it doesn't have to be a massive thing. It's about getting to know people and then planting the seeds. Anytime you drive to a party, it's a business write-off. You want to count your mileage. All the products you purchased for that, you want to use, you know, as a business write-off. You're making wrap cash, so be loud about that. Be excited about the wrap cash you're making. Again, all of that stuff is speaking success, abundance, uh, you know, harvest to your followers and your people who are watching you. Success loves speed. People want to be around people who are successful. So be loud about that stuff. All right, so how many people are going to book a party this month? I have one on Thursday, and I've never had one at my house. I've been there for four years. Um, I do one-on-ones at Starbucks. I do other people's parties, but I have not invited, you know, I made new friends, so I invited them. <laughs> and I think I'll have, I, I think I've got two for sure and hopefully three coming, but I've done a lot of seed planting along the way and I've been really more bold than normal. Just saying, Hey, you'd be really good at this. Come learn. And another thing I did is I put them all in a message together. So all of Owen's teacher, I did a message together with them. I, personally invited them. I personally messaged them. And then I did a message together because I was hoping for social pressure. Like, all right, all right, let's all go. <laughs> all right. So here's the deal. If you want diamond, you are going to be doing more than you ever have before. You're upping your action. You're upping your urgency. You are upping the number of people you're wrapped. You're wrapping and you're having a ton of fun in the process. So if you ever feel like you're spinning your wheels in this business, your job is to generate leads and book your calendar. Because when you've got a party coming up, when you've got a one-on-one -on -one appointment coming up, when you know you've got people to follow up with, you'll never feel stuck. So continue to generate those leads and, uh, and get the wrap on people and then ask for referrals and uh, it just keeps going. So, all right, let me know if you've got any questions uh, at, under this post. I'd love for you to share when your next party date is. Remember, book it and then figure it out. <laughs> uh, that's how you know it gets done. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. We will be here Same. oh, question, good. Good, yeah, get a date. When you're booking, a can't, when you're booking with somebody, this is a good, a good thought. Don't say when works for you. What I would say is Tuesday or Thursday at two. Which one? You know, give them two options. If I've had so many people say, oh, let me get with all of my friends and see when they're available. Like, no, that's not going to work. You, the best parties are scheduled within two or three days because it's the excitement that gets them there. So don't feel like it needs to be weeks out. Don't feel like you've got to, you know, get with everyone to see what works. Like, get it on the calendar and then, and then go from there. Awesome. All right. Well, let's go do this thing. We've got some goals to hit, you guys. Have a great day.